Hi everyone, welcome back to Project React Essentials and let's continue and now we are going to talk about the connectable flux, the hot stuff. So, uh, so far we have been using code observables, it means that until someone subscribes, nothing will happen. Now with connectable flux, as long as we connect, you will see that it will start emitting events. So connectable flux is pretty simple. We can create a flux from range 1 to 10. And then we can, for example, give some delay of these elements. And let's say I would like this to be published every 100 milliseconds. And then uh, we can, since we had problems with log, let's add the log to the first one here. And then I uh, would like to publish. So it's pretty simple. So far, everything that we saw, uh, it's the same except this publish. So when we have this publish, we are creating a connectable flux. You can see all the information here. And when we create a connectable flux, at the moment we connect, not subscribe, that flux will start sending these events, in this case, these numbers. So we just have to do something like this, connect to a flux, dot connect, and then the subscriber doesn't need to exist for this to get the events uh, emitted. Now, let's see how it works. Let's um, log here. Uh, let's put the main thread to sleep, otherwise we won't see. Let's give 300 uh, milliseconds. So let's add here, pros, exception. So after we connect, the main thread will sleep for 300 milliseconds. And then, only then, we will use the connect of flux subscriber. And we are going to print here. Let's create two subscribers, sub1 number, and then I will put the thread to sleep again. This time we can give only 200 milliseconds, and I will subscribe again to this connectable flux, but this time this will be subscriber number two. Let's execute this code, and you can see after this code was executed, that we have uh, the logs, and down here we have these uh, subscribers. That they are wrong because I put the wrong variable here. So to avoid confusion, let's just remove this for a while, and then let's execute again. Okay, so you can see here that when we start executing, we connect. This is being connected by the main thread. And then we are putting the main thread to sleep for 300 milliseconds. And only then we are subscribing. This means that between the time we are connecting and the time that we are uh, subscribing, 300 milliseconds or a little bit more, best. This means that we are not going to get the first two ones because why? We are uh, delaying this by 100 milliseconds. And you can see here that the subscribe one is getting the number three. And then the subscribe uh, one getting number four. And then five and five so we missed all the information available at the beginning because we are delaying so if we remove this one and we execute you can see that 300 milliseconds is more than uh, enough to finish printing the numbers so that's why we have this uh, delay elements here so we have this, um, and if we put this to sleep for two seconds, for example, it's exactly the same result. By the time we subscribe, all the elements will have been consumed. That's why we have at the beginning, let's uh, print this log here with this two seconds delay. And as you can see, we have the uncomplete being called. So let's go back to 300 milliseconds and how do we create tests for this guy? So we don't have to use 
anything related to the virtual time we can just use the plain step verifier so we create a connectable flux and then we have to connect that is this then with that's a runnable task and we call connectable flux the connect method so at this point we are connecting and we can for example expect next one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then we expect this to be completed and then verify let's execute this so the test failed because we only got from three to because all the threads that we are putting to sleep here we can remove all of them let's remove this Oh, it's a good idea to remove this one as well if you want to test there you go so we have now 10 elements and it completes and if you want for example you can tell hey then consume after you connect for a while for a while where i it's less than or equals five this means that we are going to lose these values and here we have it calls all the elements but then we are telling to consume while the number that we have here it's uh, less than five and then we are expecting the rest to be six seven eight nine ten so this is how we can have hot um observables so it will execute at the moment you are connecting even if you don't have any subscribers this is everything that i have to tell you in this video see you in the next one bye